Hey guys, it's Eric and so for today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to change the sky color on Musical.ly TikTok. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then here's an example right now. It's you. looks like and today I'm gonna be teaching guys how you could make one as well by the way this works for both Android and iOS users so this pretty much should work for every single one of you guys before we get started though be sure to share subscribe to my channel and also tap the bell to be notified whenever I upload new videos and if you did that let me know that in the comments because maybe you win the next channel for my next video and to these people right here shout out to them for turning on the post notifications so now let's get started so for this transition I'm gonna be using the same exact app for both Android and iOS users so if you're an Android user and you're watching me right now you can follow me along while I'm doing the tutorial for my Apple users because it is the same exact thing for you guys when it comes to what I'm about to do for this video so for my Apple users you're gonna be needing the iMovie app the Musical.ly app and also the Kind Master app yes there's a Kind Master in iOS I'm gonna be leaving the links down in the description for you to download those apps if you don't have them and yeah and for my Android users you're gonna be needing a few apps as well and those are the Musical.ly app, the Camera app, and also the Kind Master app. And as always, if you need to download those apps, I'm gonna be leaving some links down in the description for you guys to download those apps if you don't have them. And yeah, once you have all those apps, the first thing that you're gonna do is that you're gonna be finding a sound that you want to use for this transition. So since this is just a tutorial, I'm gonna be using the same exact sound as the example video, which is this one. Once you find the audio that you want to use for this transition, you're gonna be clicking on the bottom right to the audio. And what we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna be filming a private to be saved to our camera roll or your gallery if you have the Android. Basically just film anything that you want. Once you're done recording a private, just press the next and we're gonna be clicking on who can view my video and we're gonna be clicking on public right here and change that to private and also make sure that this thing at the bottom here is selected like that and click on post. And once it is done posting as a private, then it should automatically go to your camera roll but for my Android users, you have to go to your profile and click on the video right here and you have to click on the three dots on the bottom and click on save locally and it should go to your gallery. And once you guys are all done with that one then it is time now to film our musically using our camera app so here's a few tips when you are recording this musically slash tiktok so the first tip is that to film it outdoors and the second one is that if you have a tripod or if you have a steady place to put your phone on then put it on there and basically the more steady that you are the better and another thing is that make sure that you are not wearing any blue because if you wear blue and the sky is blue if we change the colors later on your body's gonna turn into a galaxy like wow amazing so make sure not to wear any blue but you can wear green if you want and that's pretty much it and the last thing that I have for you guys is that when you're filming this make sure that you position the sky like one third of the entire video because as you can see here the sky starts right around here and I started standing up right around here in this corner so that I could make this into a galaxy later on when we edit the musically slash TikTok I actually can't film this transition right now because outside is rainy it's been raining for like a few days now in New York City so I cannot film this right now but that's just some of the tips that I have for you guys when you're filming this and hopefully it helps. Oh, another thing is that I filmed this musically in slow-mo in my camera app. So if you have a slow-mo on your camera, then use a slow-mo. And to my Android users, if you only have a regular video, then use the regular video feature and that's pretty much it. For my Apple users, once you're done recording your musically, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna be going to iMovie and you're gonna be doing the same thing as before. If you watched my tutorials before on how to do slow-mos and all of those stuff, you know how we add audio to everything to our video so use the iMovie app to add your audio to your video if you guys need help putting audios into the video that you filmed I'm gonna be leaving a link down in the description for you guys to click on so you can watch this little part of my other videos where I showed you guys how to add audio to your video using iMovie and now for my Android users you're gonna be doing the same thing where you're just gonna be filming your musically and once you are done filming your musically using the camera app you're gonna be going to kind master to add the audio to your video and if you guys are not sure how exactly to do that and you 
you don't know how to do it. I'm gonna be leaving a link down in the description for you guys to click on to watch a little part of my past Android tutorials of me showing how you could add your audio into your video using Kind Master. So for both my Apple and Android users, once you guys are done adding your audio into your video, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna be exporting that video. And once you guys are done exporting your video on iMovie and Kind Master from my Android users, both of you guys are gonna be going to Kind Master app. So for both my Android and Apple users, we're all now gonna go to the Kind Master app to add the sky transition effect. So basically, Kind Master is right here. Once you're on your Kind Master, just press on the plus sign right here, and it's gonna take you to this page. Once you're on this page, you're gonna be pressing on media right here, and we're gonna be clicking on all, and basically find the video that you just exported from iMovie if you're an Apple user, or if you're an Android user, you're gonna be finding the video that you exported using Kind Master earlier, and for me, it's gonna be right around here. Once you select it, and just press on the check sign, and you should have something like this. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna be importing the sky that we want to put on this video. So I compiled this short video for you guys to add a sky into your video. So I'm gonna be putting a link down in the description for you guys to download that video clip of the sky that you're gonna use for this transition. To open that file, you need to have the Google Drive app. So make sure that you have the Google Drive app if you don't have it, so you can download that video. Once you downloaded that clip from Google Drive, the next thing that you're gonna do is that you're gonna be clicking on the layer option right here, and we're gonna be clicking on media, and we're gonna be clicking on all, and basically just find the sky video that you just saved from Google Drive, and it's gonna be this one right here. And as you can see, it shows up like this, and to fix that, we're gonna be clicking on the button right here in the top right, and we're gonna be selecting the right or left, depending on where your sky is, and for this one, you're gonna be dragging this up to the part where you start covering the entire sky, and for me, it's gonna be right around here, and once you are done, just press on the check sign, and the next thing that you're gonna do is that we're gonna be importing another layer, and the clip that we're gonna be importing is the same exact clip as this first one right here of us lip syncing to the audio and looking at the sky like hello hello and to do that just press on the layer again and click on media and click on all and basically just find the video that you exported from iMovie or Kind Master if you're an Android user and it's gonna be this one right here and as always when you import it it's gonna show up like this and to fix that just press on the button right here in the top right click on right or left depending on where your sky is and for this part right here you're gonna be dragging this up to where your sky is and for me it's gonna be right around here and once you did that just press on the check sign and the next thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna be adding some effects to our sky which is amazing and to do that we're gonna be pressing on this layer right here which is the very bottom and we're gonna be clicking on chroma key right here and once you click on it we're gonna be clicking on enable and once you click on enable it should have something like this and what you're gonna do is that you're gonna be clicking on the colors right here which is this option right here and for this part you're gonna try your best to find the closest color to the sky color on your video and for me it's gonna be something around this area right here and I'm gonna be clicking on check on the top right once you select on it and you should have something like this and as you can see here on the top right there's two options where you could just move this around just like that or you could move this around just like that as well and as you can see here as we move it along you can see that it is slowly changing the sky into something else like whoa what is that right now so basically just play around with this part right here until you get the entire sky to be covered with a different sky and it's slowly turning into a different sky right now and I'm so excited for this like whoa make sure that it covers the entire sky right here and so far it covers the entire sky and that's pretty much it then you should have something like this once you're done just press on the check sign right here and we should have something like this Just like that. Oh, by the way, to avoid your order to having that echo sound, you're gonna be clicking on both layers right here and you're gonna be clicking on volume and we're gonna be basically muting it to make sure that we don't hear any other noises besides our audio and click on the second one as well and click on volume and mute this as well just like that. I also noticed that there's a watermark on the top right of our video but that's okay because you could easily go to iMovie and zoom your video a little bit to the bottom side so it doesn't show the watermark if you don't like watermarks 
And for my Android users, you can actually download a crop video app. You are pretty much done. So once you think that you are done editing your Musical.ly slash TikTok, you're gonna be clicking on the top right, which is this one, to export our video. And for my Apple users, it's gonna take you to this page. And I would suggest not to change anything because these are so complicated. I'm just like, what this right now? Just click on export, you know, like just, just click it. <laughs> and if this shows up for you, just click on no thanks at the bottom. And it is exporting our video right now. And to my Android users, for you to export this when you click on the top right option it's gonna take you to this page right here basically you're gonna be clicking on the project right here and we're gonna be clicking on the share option and click on export and as always save it to the highest quality possible and that'll be high definition so once you guys are done exporting your music please then now it is time to show the world what we got and share it to our tiktok people or musically people so just go to your musically app right now slash tiktok once you get in your tiktok slash musically just press on the plus sign right here and once you get into this page just press on the bottom right to go to our camera roll slash gallery and we're gonna be selecting the video that we just exported from kind master which is this one and as always rotate it until you get the right rotation just like that and just press on next and just press on next again and guys if you're gonna make your very own sky transition then be sure to put in the hashtag sky so I can watch your videos and also put in the hashtag sky transition so I could watch your videos because I'm gonna be looking at two of those hashtags and maybe feature one of you guys' videos at the end of my videos. So that is pretty much it on how you could change the sky colors on your music release and so I hope you guys find this video really helpful and if it did help you let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Also if you have any questions or anything like that then be sure to let me know that in the comments and I'll try to answer them. If you have a music release and you don't follow me yet then be sure to follow me at Life with Eric and I'll see you guys there. And lastly don't forget to follow me in all my social medias and wish links be in the down bar below and yeah Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Okay, okay. Bye.